Call of Duty points are now in Infinite Warfare. If you want the best way to get free Call of Duty points, click the link down in the description, install the app, and start getting yourself some free Call of Duty points today. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. Now, today's video is going to be talking about some exposed fake DLC images that were leaked, as well as basically the future of DLC in this game, and some different theories that have been going around the community. Some of this stuff is a week or two old, and some of it is brand new. I wanted to give my two cents on it because a lot of people have a lot of different information coming out about the future DLC. Of course, I made one video about the leaks in the game, which were 100% legit, and that led us to believe the ACR and the Amelie could be coming out soon, which, I, you know, that, that video, nothing has changed. That's definitely still a possibility. But in this video, I want to talk a bit about some more rumors, what I think about them, and my honest opinion. So if you guys could drop a like on this thing, I would really appreciate if we could hit 2,000 likes. That would, of course, be the goal. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel, and let's get right into it. So the first thing that happened is this happened about a week or two ago, and basically, there was this thing leaked on Twitter where there was a secret image of a new sniper rifle that was uploaded to Twitter. People were tweeting it at Charlie Intel, people were tweeting it at famous YouTubers and saying, what is this? And it's basically the Curse W, and I'll show it up on the screen, I'll show you a few pictures of it. And it looked like it was a secret sort of assault, or not assault rifle, excuse me, sniper rifle put into Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And you can see there's different angles of the Curse W. It definitely looks 100% legit. And it looks like this could be a sniper rifle we could be seeing into Infinite Warfare. And everyone was making videos about this, believing that this thing could be real. When I first saw it, I thought it could be real, but I thought it could be fake as well. If you guys think back to Black Ops 3, we literally had people faking menu clips. Uh, I made a video this one time, if you guys don't remember, if you guys weren't subbed to me then. Basically what happened is there was this, this rumor that these dark matter colors were coming out, right? And then this the, the video came out of people using the dark matter colors, gameplay of it, menu footage of it, and I found out the whole time it was just a hoax and some guy had spent 12 hours editing that picture. So now I am super duper skeptical, even I was very skeptical before, but now I'm literally 100% skeptical. Everything can be faked and basically you want to go into everything with shady eyes I guess you could call it where you don't really believe anything uh, as far as these these leaks and stuff that comes into the game until it's actually announced or until it's actually found in the coded files or announced by you know a, a source like Charlie Intel or uh, Infinite Warfare themselves or something like that so this Curse W came out, picture was floating around, and uh, basically I was going to make a video on it, I just never got around to making a video on it. And basically what ended up happening with this Curse W image is Joe Seacott, who was actually the lead multiplayer designer at Infinity Ward, he is basically the guy, he's not the community manager, but he's the guy that's always tweeting out the stuff. He's basically, I guess you could call him the David Vonderhaar of Infinity Ward. You know, we have Michael Condry from Sledgehammer, he was the one who everyone would look to on Twitter and on Reddit to post all the updates about uh, uh, Advanced Warfare and Sledgehammer. Hammer games. Then of course we have David Vonderhaar. He's been around for the whole Black Ops series uh, covering except for Black Ops 1. That was JD 2020 I believe. But Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, there's of course David Vonderhaar. He's super active on Twitter. I think he has like a million followers. And for this game we have the lead multiplayer designer at Infinity Warfare or at Infinity Ward. It's so confusing you know Infinite Warfare and Infinity Ward. And basically Joe Seacott tweeted out this. He said this is a great Photoshop though there are some blurry parts. So I started to like this guy right away because he basically confirmed this image as being fake. He exposed it straight from Infinity Ward saying this bullshit is not going to fly. This image is 100% fake and the Curse W, if you guys didn't know, is definitely fake. But that still leaves these other rumors going around. And basically what these other rumors are is of course the one thing that there's basically been a rumor that they're going to add extra prestiges into Call of Duty uh, Infinite Warfare and that they are going to add extra classic weapons. Now, why people think this is basically because everyone thought there was going to be 10 classic weapons when classic weapons was announced. That was basically the leak number. And they ended up coming out with six classic weapons, I believe there is, uh, because you obviously have all the primaries and then you have the Hornet, which is the G8 team. Now, a lot of people are thinking that more classic weapons are going to be coming out within these next few months probably not right away because to in order to have all the classic weapons you need to be ninth prestige but basically one of the conspiracy theories that's going around right now is that more classic weapons are going to come out and they're going to throw in more prestiges like they did in modern warfare 3 basically put it up to like 20th prestige and then they're going to add you know uh five more classic weapons that you're going to have to get through prestige and one thing some people are doing now now i don't know if i recommend doing this you can do this at your own risk but one thing i've actually heard people talking about in the youtube community 
and all around the gaming world is basically what they've been doing is saving they've been using their classic weapon tokens to unlock the weapons that they really want you know maybe the ump maybe they really want the intervention but after that if they don't really want the other ones the people have been saving their classic weapon uh unlock tokens basically hoping that if this rumor comes true and they you know add some more classic weapons that they will already have the tokens and that they'll just be able to boom 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 unlock them all now this is a, actually a great idea and when i heard this i thought i need to mention this in the video because this definitely is a good idea and to be honest once i hit ninth prestige i probably will be saving one of those classic unlock tokens because i really don't think that i need that hornet uh secondary i don't really use secondaries at all the g18 is pretty cool it would be pretty cool to get a kimbo but i might actually try out this conspiracy theory and basically hold on to one classic token token just in case they throw in the acr they throw in the mp7 i will have that token already to, to use it now obviously this is just a rumor this is not 100 percent confirmed or nothing like that and you know do it at your own risk um i mean there's not really any risk to it except you don't get the weapon right away now, another rumor that's going around is basically, if you guys look on your prototype variants, there's actually, after the epic, there's another slot open. Now, people have been saying the rumor there is they're going to add another epic for each gun. They're going to add a, a, something above epic, and that is definitely possible. Basically, all we know right now is that they confirmed in the Infinity Ward livestream that more variants are going to be coming out. That's basically confirmed. They said a nuke variant is going to be coming up for the Type 2 and more common, rare, legendary, epic. Everything of new variants are going to be coming throughout this year of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And I think this is really good because, of course, there's, there's a limit to what we have right now. I pretty much have probably half the variants in the game already, if not more than half. And the game's been out less than a month. So that obviously means that they're going to be having to update this game constantly throughout the year's life cycle to keep up with new DLC. And of course, Call of Duty has sort of changed. You know, Call of Duty back in the day didn't really have any DLC. And then they started throwing in, you know, some DLC camos, maybe two or three DLC, um... Uh, guns per year and of course they have always had the season pass map packs but ever since supply drops came out dlc has been a huge thing in call of duty and i honestly think i've said this before but i think call of duty needs to take a different path within the next few years which basically would mean sort of lowering the price of the game i think call of duty they were charging like 80 dollars for i think now it's like 60 dollars for modern warfare remastered and infinite warfare but 80 dollars is way too much money if you look at all the successful games right now they're free or 20 dollars at least most of the games and i think that call of duty if they took it a bit of a different direction and sort of made it similar to csgo where the game costs like you know maybe they can make call of duty cost 20 dollars 30 or 40 dollars but then have a bunch of cool weapon skins that you can buy in the game cool you know customizable things you can buy for maybe a dollar or two different skins for your weapons stuff like that i think the game could definitely become a lot bigger than it is i think the issue with call of duty right now i absolutely love the game but um the, the issue is that they know they're on top call of duty has been the top selling game on console ever Every single year except for the year where GTA 5 came out and Call of Duty was second that year so even though the Call of Duty sales are on the decline people will say it's still number one console game and that's basically why I think they don't really care they don't really care to innovate it's different things like uh, what I say is with the, the nuke variant thing they could have easily done that where when you unlock an epic you get the nuke variant permanently on your gun and they could have made it they could have just by thinking a little bit more made this game a lot better and made the little things matter a lot more and that's something that you know it seems that they are they don't care at all because at this point there's still no leaderboards in the game we're almost a month in and they said leaderboards coming soon and combat record coming soon and it seems like call of duty cares way more about the dlc and their supply drop system than the actual game and selling the game which of course that makes them money and that's totally cool if that's what they care about but if they are going to care about that dlc route and you know the the skins and uh, uh the dlc weapons and variants and all that stuff they need to sort of change up their mentality and basically make the game you know a cheaper price or make it even you know available to everyone or i, I don't know what, what they could do exactly but something like that and then making money off those microtransactions seems to be the way of video games of the future and that's definitely how, if you look at all these video games that are on people's apps and iPhones, that's basically how it is. Now, the issue with that is obviously you don't want the game to be pay to win. I think games like CSGO, like League of Legends, they do it great. Those games make millions and millions and millions of dollars. And you they, you can't actually buy anything that helps you in the game. It's just because they are geniuses with how they do the weapon skins uh, in those two games. And I think that Call of Duty definitely has so much potential for what they could. They could have reskins of weapons. They could have so many different dope things in this game game and i think that you know the future of call of duty 
is looking bright if they make some adjustments, but they definitely will need to change some stuff up in the next few years. But that's basically just a tangent that I was going on right there. Um, basically, what I want to say is Infinity Ward exposed that fake DLC weapon, and I'm giving you guys some of the rumors about how DLC is going to work in this game. Of course, we're going to have a big update here in about two weeks, I think. Uh, there are early early weeks of December, they said, so probably around a week or two, a week to three weeks, I'd say, before this thing comes out. Hopefully before Christmas, and you know, I know everyone's going to have Christmas break to game a lot on. Uh, on Christmas break, of course, but that's basically what I want to say there. And I want to give you guys all of these different rumors. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below, and I'd love to see what you guys think. How is the DLC system going to work for this year? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you think any of these rumors I gave in this uh, video were true or not. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll have more videos out later today, so I'd appreciate if you guys could all drop a like on this thing. 2,000 likes would be absolutely awesome. Subscribe for Cookie and Don't Looky, and I'm out. Peace.